So then let's uh, thank the speaker once again. And let's go forward then to the talk of um, Dr. Shemi of the company Silent Seed. Um, very looking forward to your talk. Thanks. Good morning. Can you hear me? Good. So uh, I'm here to present Silent Seed for you, what we are doing specifically toward the treatment of solid tumors. Uh, we are using our own siRNA-based drug and our delivery platform, which we are calling Loader, Local Drug Looter. It is a local treatment, so it is not exactly nano. This is our pipeline. We did preclinical and phase one in pancreatic cancer, and we are moving to phase two of our Loader plus chemotherapy. And in parallel, we are moving toward phase 1b of our Loader plus uh, immune oncology drugs, and in parallel, we want to accelerate also preclinical data that we already have in prostate cancer and in glioblastoma. We are really blessed with uh, huge experience of people who are advising us, some of them also invested in the company, people who develop drugs like the Copaxone, the Herbitox, develop drug delivery platform like the Gladl and uh, Doxil and others. Uh, the idea is to focus on the combination of new drug and new delivery and actually new modality, if you wish, or new treatment. And the first is the target of the drug. We are targeting directly Keras. We are silencing Keras. RNAi enables us uh, to, to silence Keras, which so far is a very highly um, targeted uh, uh, challenge, but uh, so far we, we didn't see an uh, inhibitor that managed to target Keras. So while you silence Keras, actually you affect uh, the silencing of the down regulation of down, downstream proteins like ERK, RAF, AKT, mTOR, and also a list of proteins that related to what's called epithelial to mesenchymal transition. So we kind of normalized, we, we reverse back the epithelial to mesenchymal transition, and by that we preserve the, the cells on the epithelial form, meaning that they will not leak out from the tumor to the bloodstream. Oops, excuse me. Secondly, we are solving uh, the impermeability of tumors. Tumors are highly impermeable. Even if, if EPR works, it is pretty difficult and pretty ineffective to deliver the drug inward toward the core because there is high interstitial fluid pressure that is elevated in the, in the core on the level of 40 millimeter mercury up. Uh, tumor, and specifically in pancreatic cancer, is very condensed. Uh, and if you are doing, even if you are doing intratumoral injection, it's not really effective because the drug, once it is associated with fluid, it is washed out from the tumor uh, fairly quick. So what we are doing, we develop, uh, we develop this ca capsule with what we call loader, local drug loader, which is in fact a millimeter scale capsule, which. Con uh, in, uh, hold or comp encompass a siRNA drug, and we are using this, uh, and we're inserting it with an endoscope ultrasound, so you can appreciate how it looks in man. This is a standard procedure, the endoscope using a biopsy that runs through the endoscope to the stomach, and then once the GI expert pitch, the the stomach wall and enter to the tumor. Instead of sucking biopsy, we are leaving behind these loaders, and you can appreciate how nice it runs. This is a, a human tumor, and here you can see the surface of the loader. It, this is the hair of the mice, so this is about two months in vivo, and you can appreciate how uh, the surface remain clear out of protein uh, stickness, so the drug indeed will be released out and will be spread all over the tumor, uh, and the holes remain two months after in vivo, very small, meaning that we are avoid RNAs that will penetrate in and will degrade our SI. So actually, this capsule enables you to both preserve the drug and release it. You can see 100 day, uh, here the drug is completely and degraded, and we can select by playing with a biopolymer proportion and with excipients and with the way that we are producing 
uh, this capsule, the, we can select the delivery, we can do it very fast, bursty like, uh, zero mode, or even a very slow one, maybe this slow phase we will use for prostate cancer. In pancreatic cancer, we decide to shed about two thirds in the first two weeks, and then to shed along 100 days of rest, so it is a platform that can release from one place uh, all over uh, three or even over four months the drug continuously. And this seems to be very effective. Uh, first, by silencing the, the keras and then leading to apoptosis, which is a very specific uh, way, but also um, to do um, uh, to, to halt the new metastasis to be created by a process that I call the preserving the epithelial to mesenchymal transition, and also it adds to local immunotherapy because first, as you know, uh, and it was mentioned just recently. Uh, RNAi encourage non-specific cytokines, and also because of the cell death, there is also a second wave of cytokines that are uh, uh, arousing in the in the center of the tumor. So we did first preclinical, and uh, we did all the RNAi steps. So we showed that uh, it is very specific, and then we showed on the message level that we reduced significantly the message level and the protein level, and then we lead to cell death, specific cell death of cells that uh, do have the mutated KRAS. And then we also showed the downstream protein, like phospho-ERK and phospho-AKT, which is related to different pathway, also affected, meaning that you indeed uh, managed to do the entire silencing. And this is uh, uh, what I showed about the gene expression of a list of proteins that related to epithelial to mesenchymal transition. For example, e cadherin is down, so we, in fact, uh, raise it up, and the opposite for others. And it affects the migration, so you can see that the migration is halted by our treatment. And in vivo, you can tell that uh, the loader is affected the entire tumor. Actually, this is this is controlled, but this is the way it looks in day zero, and this is after four days, and after seven days, the entire tumor is affected. And what I'm showing here is necrosis, but the same picture with apoptosis takes about a week or one millimeter a day to cover the entire tumor, and then we analyze the KRAS specifically surrounding the loader, and here you can see the message, or actually here you can see the message but very near to the loader after two days, only the very close layer is affected. But after one week, you can appreciate the entire tumor, the level of message is dramatically reduced because we provide the siRNA continuously all the time. Um, then we did a tumor halting and cell survival on different type of cells, uh, one are, which are aggressive, and what we are less aggressive, but still, because the loader works four months, you can see, you can tell the difference also in the less aggressive cases. And we realize that we are halting the creation of new metastasis. We treated groups of mice compared to other groups, and the one being treated, we didn't find any single macrometastasis, neither in the spleen, in the lung, in the uh, liver, compared to about two thirds in the non treated or placebo treated mice. And we analyze the, the amount of drugs that we can see per layer per time. And after indeed a one week, you can see that this is, this is one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, up to five millimeter on a one centimeter mice model tumor, and it becomes stable. So you have a platform that sh sheds the drug, and after about one week, you have a steady state. And this is very important for the efficacy of the entire mechanism. And then we analyze the cells, uh, these are, uh, these are uh, normal, untreated, and treated. And you can appreciate by analyzing the separation that uh, there is a kind of void that is generated uh, within the tumor. And after about a week, it is on the level of 10%. So the tumor become much more voidy, meaning that the pressure is reduced. And it enables also chemotherapy to, to, to penetrate and also T cell to penetrate. Because, uh, for example, in pancreatic cancer, T cells are very rare in the core of the tumor. So that's why we are claiming that we are also encouraging other treatment. Uh, we are encouraging non specific uh, uh, cytokine storms. These are in vivo of different uh, cytokines. 
Uh, here we are showing that uh, cytokine storm by injection are about five hours later, but after tw 24 hours are reduced, so that's why you need to shed the drug all the time. And uh, this is more important because this is in vivo, and indeed, one millimeter, two millimeter, up to five millimeter from the loader, you can see that the entire tumor is covered by cytokine, in this case, interferon beta. So you have a tumor that's a keras, uh, lead to apoptosis, but also uh, the entire tumor is covered by cytokines, and that's create chemo attraction of T cells. <coughs> this is what we did in men. And we show that the, the tumor are significantly shrunk. In fact, all our patients, 15 patients, uh, the 12 that have been uh, per protocol, all of our cases, we show that uh, the tumors are e either shrunk or remain stable. None of the tumors uh, ran out of, uh, say, 20% up. And in fact, the ones that we've been analyzed Later, even you show a tumor halting and tumor shrinkage much stronger. You can see the volumetric, and this is after about uh, two months. Strong reduction. The CA99 biomarker reduced in most of the patients. The survival were pretty nice. We treated only one time. We didn't repeat after four months because it was phase one. And still, if you compare it to historical data, it is kind of delaying the entire disease by four months, typically. The first patient to die was after 7.5 months. It is pancreatic cancer. So next, we are going to do phase two. It is multinational, uh, double arm, uh, with chemotherapy. The chemotherapy selected will be for Firinox, which is a comp uh, combination of four uh, chemo drugs. Uh, Elena O'Reilly from World Sloan Kettering will be our leader, and, we'll, and there is a list of other PIs very strong that will uh, join this study. In, in addition, we are going to do uh, immune oncology, uh, and we want to show that once we, with, with a loader, encourage the T cell, the checkpoint inhibitors become much more effective. And this is another study, typically 30 patients that is uh, now in, in final preparation. I just want to mention that we are nicely covered by a full of uh, IP portfolio. And lastly, uh, to summarize, I think the team, the, the target, and the technology worth uh, watching, and I believe in about three years we will be in the market in the first product. I want to thank you very much. Thanks for the interesting talk. Uh, any questions? Um, well, if not, I, I do have a question myself, which is you already mentioned that uh, phase one study patients were only treated once, so you install the... Um, the loader, and then patients were followed up. But in case of the longer-term studies, will you then take out the kind of leaky? Oh, it is biodegradable. So uh, in this specific loader for pancreatic cancer will be degraded after five months. Okay. In, in uh, prostate, it will be degraded between half a year to two, two years, depend on the final. Yeah. So th the idea is to treat patients every, I don't know, four, four or months. five months with a, with yeah. a new one? Correct, yeah. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Well, if not, then thanks again for your talk. Oh, is there? Oh, Dan, please go ahead. Yeah, as a follow-up, uh, the loader seems to be a little bit magic to me. Uh, can you say a little bit more about the technology? So uh, the technology is uh, biopolymers, plasmic CPNs, which typically uh, it is hydrophobic uh, uh, matrix, taking uh, with sRNA, so it's our kind of magics, how we make uh, the entire mix uh, very uniform and maintain it uniform all the way for months because their hydrolysis uh, do affect the, the matrix, but we somehow compensate. I cannot disclose in, in the de detail. Uh, uh, we decided in day one that the, the entire material and also the solvent will be grass, generally recognized as safe by the FDA, to enable them uh, actually to be if possible, less innovative in the selection of the uh, polymers. So mainly these are polylactic, poly polyglycolic, but uh, you know, with some tricks uh, that are related to. And and with that, you can you can also uh, control the degradation of the polymer. So, as I said, we can play and we can extend the time that you want to degrade. In pancreatic cancer, four months is seems to be sufficient. Okay, well then, thanks for your yeah. presentation.